Hello and welcome back. So before adding the touch controls and also the opponent card, first of all we want to create a workpoint AI system for our game. So as you see in most of the games, the opponent car follow a certain waypoints. For example, this car one will follow this waypoint route in order to complete the lap. Okay, and this car 2 will simply follow this waypoint track in order to complete the lap. So basically, we will create a waypoint AI system that will be the first thing which we will do, and then the next thing which we will be doing is to create a editor tool that allows us for easy waypoint manipulation and visualization. And then we will create a AI logic to move our opponent cars between different waypoints and routes okay for example we will add an opponent car and then one opponent car will just simply go in the straight line and then he can just rotate from here if we want and the other car can move from that location or from this location okay we will create an AI system for our opponent car and then by using that system, the opponent car will move between different waypoints and routes. So now, before adding the opponent cars, let's just create a waypoint AI system. So for adding the waypoint system, we can actually create uh, waypoints right here manually, but that will be a little bit lengthy, and we don't want that. And as I told you, we will be creating a editor tool for our waypoint AI system. So for that, right here in the scripts folder, we will create a new script by the name of waypoint. And then right here in the editor folder, okay, guys, make sure that you create this script in the editor folder, okay. And if you don't have the editor folder, then in the assets you can actually create a new folder by the name of editor, okay, similar to this one. The E must be capital because when we will be creating our waypoint editor window, then we will have to create a script inside this editor folder. Okay, so right here, let's create a script by the name of waypoint manager window. So now, if we go back to our scripts and let's open up this waypoint script. Right here guys, we will be needing two references. The first reference will be to our previous web point and the next reference will be to our next web point. So right here, let's add a header by the name of waypoint status. And in here we will say public waypoint and let's name this previous web point and let's create another public web point reference by the name of next wave point guess how this will work so for example this is our car okay we will tell this car that these are the wave points okay and then when the car reaches this wave point on this wave point we will have we will have these two references which is the previous wave point and next wave point so this first wave point next wave point will be two okay and this one wave point previous wave point will be this six okay and then when the car reaches right here then on this one the next wave point will be two so this will come to this two web point okay then on the two the two next web point will be three and the two next web point will be one okay so he will then move to the next web point okay the car will move to the next web point the three web point and then on the three web point the three next web point is four and previous web point is three okay we will be keeping the track of all of these wave point okay so now when the car reaches the fourth one 
then the fourth next wave point is 5 and the five previous wave point is 4 okay so the car will move to the fifth one and then the next wave point for the fifth one will be this sixth one so it will come to the sixth one and the sixth previous wave point will be this fifth okay then when it when the car reaches this sixth wave point then the sixth next wave point will be this one okay so it will move to the one wave point and then in the same way the car will move between these six wave point okay so i have just given you a simple example of how our waypoint ai system will work okay so now let's just close that and after this we will right here say range and let's set the first one to 0f and the maximum value to 5f okay this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value and what we will do with this range is that this will be our wave point width actually okay for now we can just leave this as it is and when we will complete our waypoint ai system then you will know what this width will do okay now after that let's create a public vector 3 by the name of get position and in here we will say vector 3 the minimum bound will be equals to transform okay this is a vector 3 by the name of minimum bound so this will be equals to transform dot position then transform dot right and we will multiply that by the wave point width and then we will divide that by 2f okay as i told you for now you can just follow me in this step and then when this a system will be completed then you will know that how this will work okay and actually the transform t will be small so transform dot position minus transform dot right and let's multiply that by the wave point width and divide that by 2f then after this we will simply return the minimum bound and the maximum bound so we will say vector 3 dot there let's say minimum bound then maximum bound then we will say random dot range so the first one will be 0f and the next one will be 1f so guys let me just tell you a little bit about this vector 3 get position is basically this will give a random point based on the wave point width and what this will do this will basically give some space between the wave point okay we will know how this will work when we will be testing out this ai system so now we have the waypoint script ready now in the next video we will create a window for our waypoint so then we can just simply add waypoints inside our game so catch you guys in the next one